Hello viewers and welcome to one of the many plush collections we will do on this channel, the Mario plush collection. So without further ado, let's get going. In no order at all, let's start off with Mario. Next up is Blue Yoshi. Now in my Mario plush collection you will notice that I have a lot of fakes, personally I don't care. Next up we have a Babam. Then we have the three bros, we have Hammer Bro, we have Boomerang Bro, and we have Bomb Bro, or Bomber Bro, whatever you want to call him. Next up we have the Gold Goldie Mario and the Goldie Luigi. Now my Goldie Mario kind of has a big head, but personally I don't really care. Alright, next up we have Wario, one of the actual official plushies. Then we have Waluigi, and Waluigi is one of the competitors on Awesome Stuff Love Frenzy. Um, he hasn't been eliminated yet, but he may win it all, you never really know. Next up we have a Shy Guy, now this is a Shy Guy that I um, made with Mario Muffet Adventures tutorial. Um, I don't have an official Shy Guy yet, but I will get him eventually. Next up we have Booze, so this is the official Sene Boo. Then we have a handmade boo, which if the video is still on YouTube, I will um, post the video link in the description below so you can make one for yourself. And we also have a little bit more rare of a boo, the balloon boo. Now I actually like the balloon boo in the DS version of Super Mario Bros. It was actually, it was really annoying to defeat, but I did like it as a character. Alright, next up we have the piranha plant. And along with the Piranha Plant, you will see this in the Puppet Plush Collection, or the Puppet Collection as, as well, but I have a Piranha Plant Puppet that you can actually move with your mouth. Um, it's, it's pretty cool, I like it, and it can go into its pipe and come out of its pipe. I got this on eBay if anyone was wondering, so yeah, that's the Piranha Plant Puppet. Next up we have a fake Baby Mario, which his hat is weird and we also have a fake baby Luigi as well and along with those I don't really know if they make official versions of these plush but we have a baby Wario and a baby Waluigi now I know these probably aren't the official versions but I'm actually wondering if they make official versions of these two plush next up we have a fire flower and an ice flower these two plush are pretty cool next up we have a Goomba and we also have a fake pair of Goomba, which this plush isn't all that bad. Then we have the official Baby Mario. I don't have the official Baby Luigi, but here is the Baby Mario. And with that, we also have the official Baby Peach. Here is a Yoshi's Egg. Um, I actually made this using a tutorial. If you just search um, Yoshi's Egg plush tutorial, you'll probably be able to find it. And then we have one that I didn't use a tutorial for, I actually made this all by myself. We have a Mario Party dice block. It is actually pretty cool. I like it as a plush, and I, if I make a Mario Party series, this will definitely be in it. Next up we have kind of a funny plush. This is supposed to be the Mario Galaxy plush that's holding a mushroom, but it didn't come with the mushroom, so, I mean, I guess it's still kind of a rare plush, but I, it does not have the mushroom, but I, I still like it as a plush, and if Mario gets like a, an upgrade from a mushroom and gets bigger, this guy will probably be that upgrade. I don't really know what I'll use him for though. Next up we have a big Bowser plush. I mean, this Bowser is actually pretty big. Next up we have some original characters, so this guy is called Electro Koopa. Uh, that's what I named him when I made him. And along with that, we also have a guy I like to call Gromba. I mean, he's kind of like an electrified Goomba, but, you know, I, I don't really know where this character could go, but I'm sure it'll go somewhere good. Alright, next up we have Dry Bowser. On this side, we'll be doing the Koopalings in the order in which you fight them in Super Mario Bros. Wii. We have Larry, Roy, Lemmy, Wendy, Iggy, Morton, and Ludwig. And for the heck of it, why not just throw Bowser Jr. in there too? We also have Wiggler, 
and we have the Sene Luigi and Fire Luigi as well. This is a custom Toad plush I made um, by using Goomzilla's tutorial on the Toad plush. This is Evil Toad. Um, I mean, I thought he was pretty cool. I kind of made up his character. So, yeah, he's pretty cool. We have Kamek or Magikoopa, whatever you want to call him. We also have Koopa Troopa. I don't have the red one, but this is the green one. We have a fake Birdo, but this'll do for my videos, I guess. We also have Dry Bones. He's pretty cool. I also made this plush by using Goonzilla's tutorial. We have Francis from Super Paper Mario. He's pretty cool. And we have Nabbit. Over here, we're gonna have some older Mario plush, so we're gonna start with the Kelly Toy set, which is not complete, at least for me. We have Kelly Toy Mario. We have Kelly Toy Wario, who's very big. And with that, we also have a small little Kelly Toy Donkey Kong. Now, I could get a bigger one if I wanted to, but I mean, this was the first Kelly Toy plush uh, for the Mario set I ever got, so. I, I'll just include him in here. Now, the Kelly Toy Luigi, I know where to get him. He's just very expensive, and I've probably bid on one at least three or four, possibly even five times on eBay, and they always get sold because, um, you know, I'm not willing to go up as much as other people are. So eventually, I will get a Kelly Toy Luigi, but I just don't know when that'll be. Speaking of Luigi's, we have this old Luigi plush made by Acme. Uh, I did a review of this guy, and I mean, I don't really know if he's a Luigi or a Fire Luigi. I don't really know. To go along with that, we also have a BDNA Flying Mario. You thought that it was the Nintendo 64 Flying Mario. I actually haven't seen any of those on eBay. Most of them have just been BDNA, but anyways, here's this one. And to go along with that, we have the BDNA Yoshi, or like the old Yoshi plush. Um, these two I actually got at a garage sale, so I mean, I got a pretty good deal for them. To go along with them, we also have two of my favorite Mario plush. We have Gino from Super Mario RPG. He is probably one of my favorite Mario plush. Um, he was custom made by Metroid Hat, so go check them out on Etsy. And to go along with him, we also have Mallow. And his uh, cloud texture is actually very soft. So these two plush, uh, they're a little more expensive than your average Mario plush. So um, if you would, if you want to get them, make sure you you know have enough. And if I were you, probably do it like go over to Metroid Hat and ask them for one as soon as possible because sometimes it, they take a while to make, but overall these are great plush. And to top off our older Mario category, we also have um, this, the one Mario Party 5 plush I have, the Mario Party 5 Toad, and if you think it's a fake, you're wrong because it actually says Mario Party 5 on there, but I don't know if it'll focus or not. But yeah, that's um, the Mario Party 5 Toad. Um, He's the only Mario Party 5 plush I have. I'm always looking for more, but normally they're a little more expensive than I would like to spend. Fun fact, I also got that Mario Party 5 Toad for 10 bucks on eBay. To go along with that, we also have a lot of Toads. So, this one is a Goldie Toad. Um, I think it was my first Mario plush, honestly. I got it when I was really little, so yeah, here's him. Next up, we have the Flying Squirrel Yellow Toad which um, was made for the Super Mario Bros. U game on the Wii U, so he's pretty cool. Then we have a handmade Toad and Toadette from Goomzilla's tutorial. Um, I actually, I liked his tutorial, but I don't use it anymore because I really don't make any more Toad plush nowadays. And now we have a lot of fake Toads. Your question is probably, why do you pick fake Toads over the real Toads? I like the fake toads because they're smaller and they look more, you know, ridiculous to put in videos because in my series the toads are going to be ridiculous people. So to start off we have the fake red toad, as well as the blue toad, the yellow toad, the green toad, 
And a little bit more rare, we have the light blue toad, which I think is kind of rare on eBay. To go along with that, we also have the star red toad. Now, I really, really, really want the star of blue toad, yellow toad, and or green toad. Um, but they are just very rare on eBay. I've been looking and not one has popped up for a long time. So, I mean, I hope they pop up soon. And we also have the Captain Toad, which, I mean, this is a very well-made plush. We also have these two princesses. I do not have Rosalina, but uh, we have a actually fake Princess Peach plush. I didn't know this was fake until recently, but um, I don't really know if I'm going to get a real one or not. And of course, we have Princess Daisy. I know we did a blue Yoshi at the beginning of the video, and if you thought that was all the Yoshis I had, well, you're wrong. So let's start off with the pink Yoshi. We also have, I don't really know if this is a fake, it probably is, but we have the Christmas Yoshi, which is very cool, and it was an awesome Stuff Up Frenzy, but it got eliminated early on. We also have a zipper Yoshi, which on his shell he can actually uh, zip out, and there's like a little really no place to put stuff in there, but we have a zipper shell Yoshi, that's what I'm going to call him. And then we have baby Yoshis. We have a baby green Yoshi, red Yoshi, blue Yoshi, yellow Yoshi. We have a light pink and a hot pink baby Yoshi. We also have a purple Yoshi. We have a white Yoshi and a black Yoshi. Okay, now we have items, so we have two fake mushrooms, which these I actually got in a claw machine, so they aren't even Mario plush, but I'm going to use them as Mario plush. Then we have a custom-made mushroom plush um, that I used Goomzilla's tutorial for. Then we have our two official mushroom plush. We have a blue mushroom and a uh, poison purple mushroom. These two um, I got a long time ago, but they still remain to be my only official uh, mushroom plush. And to top it off, we also have um, a mini green mushroom, or a 1-up mushroom, and a mini black mushroom. Both of these um, are fakes, but I'm probably going to use them in the series. To go along with the toads, we also have these mini toads, which are fake, but I call them the mushroom men because, I mean, they're kind of funny. We also have a custom-made uh, bob plush. I made this a long, long, long time ago, and I mean, it turned out okay for my sewing skills at the time, but now I'm much, much better, so I mean, I keep it as a memory more than, you know, something to use in the series. Then we have a small little Koopa Troopa. It's very, very small. And we also have a very small cheap, cheap plush. Again, very small, but not as small as the Koopa Troopa. And to top off the whole collection, we have probably the most classic Mario character ever, besides Mario. We have Donkey Kong, and this is a very well-made plush. So, with that, that is all of my Mario plush. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down in the comments below. Um, if you want to know what my favorite Mario plush is, it's probably going to be Gino. Um, but I do have some rare plush in this plush collection, and I also have some fakes. Personally, I don't really care that they are fakes because they're still plush to me. Um, but yeah, so if you want to see an updated uh, Mario plush collection eventually, please leave a like, leave a comment, and if you haven't, why not shoot for the stars and subscribe? So, thank you guys for watching this amazing video. There will be more plush collections to come. There will be the Goodness Gang, the FNAF plush collection, the Puppet plush collection, or Puppet collection, and we will also have an updated Plants vs. Zombies plush collection on the way. So, stay tuned for that. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.